Hi everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome. I promised when I did my haul recently of the box that wonderful Jamie sent me that I would try to get on and show you how these moldable fold stamps work. Um, it's been a long time since I played with mine. Um, these are two that Jamie sent me and they were called Magic Stamps Moldable Foam Stamps. And I'm going to try and see if I can find them online for you and put it in the description box below. I won't promise because I don't know where she actually got these. Um, but it was a Magic Stamp 8-pack. So I'll look for them. If nothing else, their website is clearsnap.com. And I'll put this information in the description box below, okay? Um... One of the things I was going to tell you, though, is that I've had one of these stamps for a while. Um, this one is, it's a little different than this one. These are denser, so they'll probably work a little different. I've had this a long time. It's been a very long time since I played with it. So, you know, please forgive anything that happens that doesn't work exactly right. Um, one of the things I can tell you is that there's no clear way to tell you what works and doesn't work because some things do and some things don't. Um, this one, I think, ages and ages ago came from Stampin' Up. I will not tell you for sure because I don't remember. Anyways, I've got several of these to play with. And remember that you've got a couple of sides, you've got edges, that kind of thing, so that if you get something you really like, you might want to... Um, hold on to it. Now, um, these are mold and remold textures and objects. The fun thing about this will be is that these will work beautifully on the uh, jelly plate. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to ink them up and put them on paper just so you can see what they look like. The instructions say simply heat the magic stamp foam with a 300 to 400 degrees heat source for about 30 seconds keeping heat gun or foam block in motion to avoid overheating. So I have my heat gun. Then it says press the heated foam quickly against any cool textured or dimensional surface. Hold down firmly for 15 to 20 seconds. The image will remain intact until the foam is reheated. When reheating, deeper impressions may not disappear completely until you remold the new surface design. Oh, it says you can also engrave magic stamp with a pen or a pencil. So we that would mean that we should be able to take our embossing tool well I'm guessing you would want to heat it first. Before, so you don't booger it up. So um, that's something else we'll try. Um, texture ideas. Rubber bands, rice grains, bark, shells, basket, netting, crumpled paper, aluminum foil, food container lids, jewelry findings, botanicals, dry pasta, fabric, rubber stamps. Oh, to make a reverse impression. Rubber stamps. I forgot about that. We used to do that. Okay. Um... It says ink with water-based marker, ink pad, or paint. So we need a water-based pad. That way you can wash it off. That's the plan behind it. Let's see if this one's juicy enough. Should be. We'll see. So we're going to play with some things. Got out my embossing tool. I have some jewelry um, pieces here. I have some buttons. I have more odds and ends of jewelry pieces, jewelry findings. I have more buttons. This is a couple of earrings. I meant to take that apart because my thought on this is that 
well, it's not going to work very well because the earring back is on this piece and this big ball is right here. So if I take this big ball off of there, let's see if I can do that. This might work. Okay, so we have a piece from an earring. I have some fun um, silverware. We'll see if it will pick up these impressions or not. Um, there's, you know, there's endless choices. They don't all work. That much I can remember and tell you. Um, <clears throat> different depths of impression will leave different marks because the really pretty design in these in this silverware is below this ridge so it might not work so we're going to try a few different things luckily i have multiple surfaces so we'll see what happens And I will probably try to uh, edit out the really loud um, noise from the heat gun. I'm just arranging the pieces on the table. Okay, it did not, do you see it? It did not leave a really deep impression. I may not have heated it up enough. So let's try it out and see what happens. The other thing is, is a real deep impression doesn't always give you the... Oh, well, that's good. I broke this one a while back. It's kind of interesting. Let's let's ink it up and try again. cool. Let's try another one. Let's... This stamp pad is going to make me grumpy. Let's, I wonder if I've got a different one. There we go. 
it'll be all right. Let's turn it over and um, oh, let's try these. I have several of these. Well, see, they're not they're not going to work very well that way. We'll try these. Okay, can you see it? Oh, it came out much better this time due to the fact that I heated it a little longer and pressed a little harder. So we'll see what happens. The silverware is warm, so remember that that happens. And see, as I thought, we get this nice deep impression here, but this in here doesn't really show up that much. It's it's too far down into the, um, this goes down too far. And I kind of knew that was going to happen. It's just one of those things. So, okay, so we don't really like that impression. It's pretty on the... Um, on the block but it's not really pretty when we stamp it out so let's try something different let's go for this one okay well to do that we're going to do the nice thing about this magic block and we're going to raise that design up and start over again Now then, you can see that there's still what looks like an impression. It's not actually an impression. What it is, is where I didn't clean the ink off the block. So, that was not really still in the block. This, the foam had raised up. Oh, that one came out really nice. Let's see if it actually prints out as pretty as it is. That's quite warm now, so let's see here. I think we can print it right there. Yeah. Now you notice I didn't take this one off because I kind of like that image. So as long as you like it, you can keep it. I'm just not sure how well um, that one's going to print. We're just going to find out. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm not sure if I poorly inked it or if the image, um, it might just be the way I inked it or the image may not be even. So we're going to ink it again and try it out. Ah, it was just poorly inked. Now that one came out real well. So you see, you you have to you have to look at each piece and see if it's going to work. Let's try this spoon, and I'll just have to try to push it down on there. Once again, I believe that the indentation is a little too deep, and that's what I was afraid of with the, the silverware. When I pulled it out of the thing to look at it and see if it would work, that's kind of what I was afraid of. The other thing is, the more you heat this block, now see, I hit the end of this block, my design on this side is gone. Now that's interesting. It's just not got the pretty flowers showing up in it because we have just too much depth. So every time you do this, it's a little different. And every time you you want, you can reheat this block and start over doing something else. Um, let's try this block just for the sake of trying it. I've got these three buttons. There again, I'm afraid the, sh the depth of them is going to mean that they don't print very well. We do the block, not the pieces. You see, the indentation shows the button, the button design very well. But what's going to happen is all you're going to see is the circles, which is cool. But at the same time, it might not be what you want. I'm going to see if I can ink inside the buttons real well with the corner of my stamp pad. See if it does anything. Ah, this one worked very well. Now, this stamp this stamp foam block is um, a little softer. So, let's try these exact same buttons on the other phone block. See what happens. We're going to take away this design because it's already half gone.
they're impressed very nicely in there. Now let's see if they'll print. I'm using the corner of the stamp pad to get down into those um, recessed areas. I need a fresh piece of paper. So those work really well. Those buttons are perfect. So the dent in these is not as deep as I was afraid it would be. And by working to ink inside that um, circle, it seemed to work out. Um, let's try something different. Uh, I've got um, circles already on here. Well, as soon as I heat it up, it's going to go away. Okay, I'm going to use this plastic uh, drink cap. Okay, now because this is just the edge of the circle that I'm hoping to get, I'm just moving around on the block a little bit at a time. I probably could have taken the cap and gone like this instead, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I have, there's different depths because it was hotter when I pushed down on the cap right there, but then I have more circles all over everywhere. We'll find out what happens. This is called experimentation. And then when you get something you really like, you can go back and do it. But the nice thing about this foam block is you can do it over and over again, and it would be perfect on your jelly plate. Okay, we're gonna see how this stamps. Oh, I like that. Now, it didn't ink very well, so let's uh, let's ink it a little differently. Let's rub it around on there. Because I was getting the edges of the stamp pad, and that's what made all of those lines. Now, wouldn't that be awesome on your jelly plate? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That would. Okay, let's um, let's try something else. I want to try this. This is back in the day. These were um, I think they're called conches. Uh, they're they came out of my sewing stuff. Is where it came from. Probably going to just be an outline, but that's okay. Remember, those metal pieces get hot. has a little bit of the design in it so that's really kind of cool
Now I've got other jewelry things, beads and stuff, but we've already done jewelry. What I'm thinking, is, and plastic cap worked just fine. I I can see if you had multiple size um, bottle caps would be fun to squash into there and then have a circular stamp like this. So um, that would be cool. I think what I want to do is I want to try... Not sure I like how tiny this is. That may be where my I'm gonna try the end of my bone folder rather than how tiny that is. It would work, but I just want a bigger line. So we're gonna heat this up again and try it. It's interesting, but it wasn't a very exciting print. Let's, I got the forks out because I was thinking, not so much about this end because I knew it was kind of not going to work, but I was thinking about taking the fork and pushing it in like that. So let's try that. Okay, I wanted it pretty warm because I need to move the fork multiple times. I don't want to push too hard with this and tear the foam. So we'll see if that worked. Can you see it? Anyways, these foam box can be a lot of fun. Um, they don't have to be this blue. Obviously, this yellow one that I had already works just fine, and it's years and years and years old. Um, it's a little thicker. But the sides don't, I don't know how well the sides would work. Um, I'm pretty sure we used them when, back in the day, but I don't remember. The one thing I can tell you is you want to wash the ink or paint or whatever off this block when you get done with it. There, that's kind of cool. You can create a scene. So you can kind of create your own stamp. Um, if you uh, rolled up paper, maybe you could um, 
create letters. I don't know. Um, whatever you're pushing that warm block into allows you to do the, um, the, the print. Remember, it's going to be backwards when you flip it back over. So it's, it's all, uh, it's all an experiment and that's the whole fun of the product. Um, you're never sure exactly what you're going to get. So the whole point is to play with it because I didn't think these buttons were going to work and yet they worked very well. Um, and they worked real well on both the yellow foam and the blue foam. I love just taking this cap and doing it over and over and over again. I can see that being a very, a stamp I'd like to have. Now, um, if these blocks get warm, the design comes out of them. Um, I don't know that I would leave an impression in there. Uh, we were taught to take the impression out before we put it away. You do want to wash the block with water and get it clean before you put it away. I hope that this answers some information about some of the product, this product. And like I said, I'll try to find a link, but, um, and I will definitely put, um, the website, uh, in the description box below. And thank you again, Jamie, for sending this to me so that I could, um, experiment with it and, um, show everybody. It's a lot of fun to play with. Anyways, guys, it's getting very warm in here. The heat tool made it hot, hot, hot. So go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye. Love y'all.